So, Matthew, if you can start, um, what about the present situation and the fact that Andy Legg has resigned as Lenethley manager? Um, it, it wasn't a shock to me that uh, Andy handed his resignation in and told the players um, initially that, that he'd quit at half time on Sunday. You know, it, it takes a lot of a person or a manager to approach his players midway through a game. So that just shows how frustrating this, this has all been for Andy Legg, his staff and, and the players themselves. And the only feeling I've got is, is, is sympathy for, uh, for everyone involved with Lenethley, not only the players but the supporters and, and the people who, who love the club. Um, no one wants to see a, a club of, of this stature being in the situation which they are. Um, and what I feel the priorities are now is that we need to get players playing at the club who want to play for the club, who are passionate about playing for the club, whereas maybe in the last few years it's been players attracted to the club for the money, for the financial side of things, and we need to get back to basics. We need honest players, honest people involved in the club, and, and that needs to stem right from the, the chairman right through to the managing staff uh, and the players and the, and the fans themselves. How do you think this issue will be resolved ultimately? Um, you don't know what's for, for best really. Do you want to see a club, club collapsing? Certainly not. Uh, me being from Thlenetli myself, it's the last thing I'd want to see happen. But will that be a positive? You know, would it be a case that someone can pick up the pieces and drive the club forward? That's what we'd like to see happening. Um, but I'm hoping that, that Nitin um, does sa save the club in a way. You know, he, he, in essence, has put the club in this situation. Um, and I think it's, it's up to Nitin himself to get this, the, the club out of trouble. Uh, so all, all the, the questions, are, I think, are pointed to Nitin rather than anyone else involved in the club. You're a Llanelli boy yourself. Is there any chance at all that Matthew Jones will become involved with, with Llanelli Football Club? Uh, I th well, I think something like that is it's is totally uh, uh, premature to be to be discussing right now with the problems that um, that Llanelli have got. I mean, only yesterday I heard that Nitin has rejected and Andy Legg's um, resignation because he wants the togetherness. He wants them to get through and overcome the problems at the club. Andy has shown so much faith and honesty with, with his approach, the way he manages the players, the way he's had to deal with off-field uh, problems. Um, and I think what, where it's got to a point now is the way when, I, when I speak to Andy, when I speak to, to other staff and to players, whereas before it was always about who's doing well, what the performance is like, what you're expecting up to the weekend, it's now all very negative. It's all about the financial problems and we need to quickly get away from that. Um, going back uh, to me and whether the possibility in the future, definitely so. You know, I, I'd love to. I'd never say no to it because it's an opportunity. I'm currently going through my my A license, my way for A coaching badges at the moment, um, and I'm always looking for opportunities. But I think someone even better in the situation at the moment is Gary Lloyd. If it is the case that Steve Jenkins and Andy Legg do go, and that is 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 solid then I do think that uh, Gary Lloyd is in a perfect uh, position. Someone who we all know has got so much history with the club, someone who loves the club and someone who the club loves. Um, and he, he's built the experience up over a number of years. Uh, he knows the history, he knows what it means uh, for those people in, in the town of Lethley. Uh, so firstly, I'd be turning to, to Gary Lloyd and it was only this morning I phoned him up to, to wish him well, uh, if that is the case. Um, because they've got a game on Saturday against TNS to worry about. And who is going to be at the end? Is Andy Legg going to come back in? Is, is Gary Lloyd going to be in a position where he's going to take over uh, to pull those players through? There is that debate whether the players will play on Saturday. Uh, but the advice I've been giving to the players is they haven't put a foot wrong up until now. They've trained, they've played, and they've done that to 100%. And that's all you can ask out of the players. OK, performances haven't gone their way and results certainly haven't gone their way. Um, but the potential is there and you've got a good group of players who want to do well for the club. So my advice would be to play on Saturday and to keep doing the right thing because the finger will never be pointed to those players. They're there, they're representing the town, wearing that shirt. And like every performance, they do try their hardest. But obviously with those off-field problems, and people have said in the past, those problems don't bother you. It's obviously showing at Llanelli that, that they are bothering the players and the staff and to a point where it's made the manager walk away.